major insect pests in maize. Maize production can be significantly reduced in the absence of effective management of diseases, insects and weeds. Some of the most common pests include stem borers, the larger grain borer, grasshoppers and locusts, termites, maize aphid or corn leaf aphid, the angermoist grain moth, spider mites, white grubs, African boarworm, African armyworm, the maize ladybird beetle, and the maize leaf hoppers. There are a number of tools and strategies that you can use for managing pests, what is referred to as integrated pest management if used in combinations. This include ensure the maize crop is as healthy as possible to compete with the pests. Plant early to avoid the high insect populations that are experienced with late sowings. Monitor pest levels to determine whether they are causing economic damage or are below critical thresholds. Preserve beneficial organisms that provide biological control as they are the first line of defense in IPM. Use pesticides strategically if required and rotate chemical groups to minimize the risks of pests developing resistance to specific chemical groups. Control host plants such as volunteer maize and grass weeds to reduce the habitat available for pests to survive and multiply. Alternative crops that host the same pests should be avoided in the crop rotation program. Planting a trap crop, a crop that the pest prefers to concentrate the pest population away from the maize crop, thus reducing the area insecticide control. <laughs> Communicate with neighbors and other farmers in the area to incorporate area-wide management of pests where possible. Select varieties that display good pest resistance. There are some beneficial insects, including predators and parasitic wasps that commonly occur in maize crops. Distinguish these insects from maize pests and use them as a tool in integrated pest management. When present in high numbers, this beneficial insect may be effective in controlling pests and preventing yield loss. Remember, maintaining a healthy crop will give you an advantage because your crop will effectively compete with the pest. Plant Ali in the sowing window to avoid the high insect populations that are experienced with late sowings. Constantly monitor pest levels to determine whether they are causing economic damage or are below critical thresholds. Major Maize Diseases Maize diseases can reduce yield potential, interfere with normal physiological development, lower grain quality and coarse lodging which affects harvest. The occurrence and impact of a disease depends on a number of factors such as climatic conditions, the health, abundance and varietal resistance of the host plant. 
It is important to identify diseases in order to implement management strategies during the season and for subsequent crops. Some of the diseases that infect maize in Kenya include maize lethal necrotic disease, MLN, fusarium wilt, stock rot and ear rot, maize streak virus, northern leaf blight, southern leaf blight, grey leaf spot, common rust and head smart. Remember, maintain a healthy and vigorous crop stand that can easily withstand diseases. Constantly scout your maize crop for signs of the disease and take swift action. Practicing crop rotation greatly curtails the spread of disease-causing pathogens and viruses. Use of clean certified seed is very important in disease control. Ensure the maize field is clean and free of any weeds that act as hosts to some of the pests that transfer the disease to the maize. Weed Management A weed may be identified as any plant that is growing where it is not wanted. Thus, in a crop field, all plants other than the crop planted in the field are weeds unless a farmer is practicing intercropping or using cover cropping. Weeds can be a problem in the production of maize crops because they reduce yield by competing for essential growth resources such as water, nutrients and light. <laughs> Unaona mahindi imekauka na hakuna chenye hakuna chenye tumepata hapa na kama tumepata ni ndogo sana si ndio na unajua mkulima amenunua mbegu na amenunua mbolea na sasa amepoteza Weeds can harbor pests and diseases that may attack crops Seeds of some species can contaminate maize grain harvested and reduce its quality and price. Where do farmers fail in controlling weeds? Inappropriate ways of controlling weeds has caused havoc to maize farmers in Kenya. This include poor manual or herbicide weeds control, weeding too late, ineffective herbicide application, for example, those that certain weeds have developed resistance or under application. Delayed planting after land preparation. If the land has been used for continuous maize cropping for many years, the load weed seeds may be very high. Appropriate weed control. It is important for you to be able to recognize different weed species in your farm and understand their weaknesses. Use an integrated approach for the management of weeds that combines all available options. The aim is to keep the weed numbers low and prevent them from producing seeds throughout the cropping cycle. baada ya kupiga dawa ya kwanza tuoteshe mahindi itamea ikifika hatua fulani kama tunakaribia kuweka mbolea tutapiga dawa nyingine kama magugu yatakuwa yamemea ambayo ni 24D ambayo itatuwezesha mmea wetu kumea na kuendelea na inapoendelea kwa sababu hamuna kuwekwa hamuna kungangania chakula mmea wetu utakuwa mzuri kwa hivyo pia utatusaidia kwa haraka kufunika udongo na vile vile inapofunika udongo itakuwa inapunguza nguvu za kwekwe kumea. Na yakifika kiwango fulani ambacho tunajua sasa kwe, tukipiga dawa haiwezi kusumbua mmea kama inakaribia kuanza kuweka kama imeweka tunakaribia kuvuna. Tuna dawa pia ambayo tukipiga kwa hiyo shamba 
itaua mimea yote ambayo haitajiki kwa shamba ambayo iko chini ya mahindi na hapo itawacha shamba letu likiwa safi na mahindi yetu itaendelea kufurahia kwa sababu haitakuwa na changamoto ya kwekwe kwa hiyo kwa huo muda wote utakuwa umeyatunza kwa shamba you need to consider how to manage the weeds well before the crop is sown this means preventing weeds from setting seeds in the previous crop and controlling weeds around the field edges along waterways and in adjacent uncropped areas ile kitu imenisaidia siwaje siamba langu ikue cha mimi nafika kando kando kitu kingine siwaje weeds ikue kupa kitungine fitu ya nikitoa mahindi nikifuna mahindi miti ya mahindi siwaachili ngombe ikula mimi napindulia chini sasa naleta rotuba ikue mingi special attention needs to be given to weeds that grow from underground such as grass Practices that can be used in an integrated weed management program include weeds especially annual grasses can be grazed or hand harvested to feed livestock. Make sure the crop seed used for sowing is clean and free of weed seeds and has a high germination percentage. Timely weed control either by cultivation or by using herbicide has served the dual purpose of killing weeds. Application of herbicide such as glyphosate controls the weeds without loss of soil moisture. Cultivation is also less effective in controlling weeds when the soil is wet. Farmers must follow label directions when using herbicides. The other thing that you must ensure is to make sure that this fertilizer you have applied is not used by the weeds. So you must also take care of weed control. You need good weed control in the first month to take care of the phosphatic fertilizer. Here we can either use DAP, which is the ammonium phosphate, or single superphosphate. And once you do that, then you get the seeds growing healthily and then later you will also control weeds when it comes to top dressing in a nutshell you must keep the plant very happy throughout its life it means from germination up to harvesting if the plant is happy it will give you good yield and you will also be happy if you don't do that the crop when the crop is not happy you will also not be happy AIC